everybody. Good morning, Jackson. How are you today? Good morning, Calvin. How are you today? Good morning, Tommy. How are you today? Well, I'm... Oh, he did it before I did. <laughs> Good morning, Mom. How are you today? I am so tired, but good. Good. So here is the deal. Jackson and Calvin, I have something to ask of you. You know that Mommy and Daddy today are going on an airplane. Where are we going? To, to California. That's right. And guess who we're taking with us? What? Who? Tommy. Now, Tommy has never, ever been on an airplane before. But guess what? what? You boys have been on lots and lots of airplane rides. So, my question to you is, what should Tommy know about going on an airplane before we go? I don't know. Do you know of anything that you can tell Tommy about airplanes? Okay, let's tell Tommy what he should know about going on an airplane. He can't talk. I know, you tell him, he can listen. What should you tell him about going on an airplane? Um, um, eat airplane. Eat, eat the airplane? Eek! Airplane? Eek! <laughs> Jackson, what do you like about oh, going on airplanes? I like, uh, I like eating the snacks. Eating the snacks? Is that fun? Yeah. Yeah? Calvin, what do you like about going on airplanes? Um, eating snacks in the airplanes. Uh-huh. What about watching shows? Yeah. Yeah? Do you guys like going through security? What's security? <laughs> Where they take our bags and we walk through the machines. And they say, you're good to go on the airplane. Yeah. Do you like to cry on airplanes? No. Do you like to cry on airplanes? Do you think Tommy will like to cry on airplanes? No. Yeah, I hope not. Cross your fingers. I got Binky. Yeah, we'll bring the Binky just in case. So Tommy, those are some tips for a good airplane ride. Eat what? the snacks, watch the shows, don't cry. Do you have any advice for Tommy? I feel that's it. all the advice he needs. Yeah. Okay, we've got our bags packed. We're gonna take the boys to school, and then we're hopping on an airplane with our first airplane ride boy. So good for Grandma and Grandpa. Yes. Okay, I've got the kids in the car. What are you doing I'm over just here? Kidding. I hate this feeling. I need to. I'm going to be happy mm -hmm. because I'm doing something for both of us. We're going on this trip. It's a business it's a trip. Business trip. To yep. A convention to learn more about YouTube and social media, and I'm not going to let the guilt affect me. Right. I it's hard leaving I your think kids. It's natural to always have a little bit, but I, but I'm gonna tell myself like, this is okay. I'm okay doing mm -hmm. this, and I am gonna be happy with my decision. Right. I'm leaving them a little snack. Mm -hmm. I feel like that is over so all of that cute. Because I don't quite believe myself. <laughs> You're sweet. That just means you love your kids. That's oh. what that means, Ellie. No, 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 because then that means if I didn't, I don't love them. See? And I don't want anyone to feel like you don't love your kids because you don't feel guilt leaving them. That's true. Right? But, but, but I, you, I hope people know what I'm trying to say. Down his hat. You got I'm his hat. I've been looking. Like, we have like a million of those, Ellie. <laughs> is, is that that specific one you wanted? Yeah, this is big. This is okay. one small. Let's go. Big. Let's go. He, he's got a big smile. He's going to have big teeth. You know that. He's got a big head. Rule number one about going to the airport. Go even earlier than you think you need to so you can find oh. a parking spot. Are you kidding me? We've been driving around for 20 minutes and the moment I pull the camera out, now you find a parking spot? <laughs> How perfect was that? Oh my God. All right. Are you ready for your first plane ride? You are? Oh, you gonna poop on the plane? Don't you do it? That's gross. Are you ready to go? Your... Oh my goodness, this could be so funny! Oh my goodness, your very first plane ride. Oh my goodness, are you, are you gonna listen to Calvin and, and Jackson and get snacks? You are. Are you gonna eat your neighbor's cookies? <laughs> Bring the milk, and you eat the cookies. Got it? Oh, oh well, don't go behind me, this gross. Don't do that. Okay, ready? High five. High five. Knuckles, oh, round it. Da la la la. <laughs> 
So the other nice thing about coming to the airport early is you can get a few things done. Namely, make sure your baby's fed, uh -oh. taken care of, diapers changed and everything. Well. Your you, tummy's full. Your tummy's full, you get some food, and you can get all of your arguments out with your spouse. And that's what we've done today. And then have a happy flight. Yes, absolutely. Once all of your stress is off your shoulders. And can you tell I'm stressed with these gray hairs? <laughs> That is so crazy. We, so let's talk about that. We were sitting down to a wonderful breakfast, just the two of us, so something good. we don't have often. Mm -hmm. And yet, why did all of our frustrations come out all at once? Everything. All of our stresses just came out. And this glorious, passionate spitfire of a fight. Not a fight, an argument. Yeah. Yeah. A it got little heated. bit of both. Got heated, didn't it? <laughs> But Ellie has done this really cool thing where she wants to take a right. social media fast. Where I just don't post or even like pick up my phone. Like I don't want to be on my phone just so I can just like have a breather. Be in the moment with the kids. And family. I had posted about it, which I'm annoyed at myself for doing it. It's like, why do I need to tell people I'm taking a break? I don't know. I just did. I thought it would be maybe inspiring to some people. By the way, you yeah. And then I asked Jared before I posted, I said, do I, are we, like am I under contract with anybody? To like, make a post. And Brandy. we couldn't remember at the time and then I posted it and then I was under contract and so I made a post. So I kind of was a hypocrite because I said I was going to take a break and I just wanted to really stay true to what I said right. and I felt embarrassed and dumb and upset with myself. And, and so, so I was frustrated. And we were trying to find the balance of making everyone happy, brands, ourselves, and Ellie, our audience to and show you. that like I mean what I say. Right. You know? So I just feel dumb. But I'm not doing it. Jared's gonna do it for me because I just don't want to be on my phone. So right. I'm grateful for you. But I also was very flustered. Mm -hmm. And that is how you enter the airport. Stay tuned for part two. <laughs> Where we see how this guy does on his very first I know. flight. Jared's like, why is he asleep? Well, he needs to be awake. <laughs> Keep him awake for one more hour so he sleeps on the plane, not before. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We'll talk about that event later. You need to stop. Different requirements for each person we fly with. Yeah. You like Delta the best. Are you ready to go, buddy? Are you ready to go on your first flight? <laughs> oh my goodness. Mama was worried. I know. We thought we were going to have to leave you in the airport and go by ourselves. No way, Jose. <laughs> I would say, take me with you. <laughs> every every um, flying different airplanes is always different with kids. Mm -hmm. The five years we've been flying often, we've never had issues bringing our kids on planes. Right. And they needed some more information. They usually don't have this. I was like, I don't have the information. We're okay. We're good now. Time, time, time. Yeah. He's so handsome. He's like done. Look at him. <laughs> We've been uh, cleared for departure. Let's uh, initiate the breastfeed latch <laughs> and enjoy the flight. No one wants their ears to be hurting. Yeah, actually a good tip when you have a baby is to nurse while you take off so the ear popping and all that stuff helps, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Keeps them from screaming. <laughs> it's like a fork. Everyone's <laughs> okay. Good afternoon. This is your captain speaking with just a little flight information. Sit back and relax and enjoy the rest of the flight. Tommy, we're here. We made it. How'd you do, Mama? You took that first flight for granted. You didn't even appreciate it. I know, you slept most of the way. <laughs> didn't even get to feel the bumps. I wanted to sleep, but I ended up just staring. <laughs> Aww, that's sweet. Not very many times. I don't really hold him for naps. Mm -mm. I've held all of like Jackson and Calvin. I would hold them during their full nap. Yep. But Tommy, I don't. I haven't. Haven't needed to. I want to, I just haven't. Yeah. You know? Uh -huh. It was my first one I did. I'd like lay in bed with him and hold him for yeah. a few naps. But other than that, like... Did you ever really catch yourself it. rocking? Oh, I rock myself. You like, rock I, myself. I was just, I was just hold, like holding the camera and I was just rocking yeah. like this. Because really you were kind of rocking him too. That's, that's like one of the quirks, the funny things that I find like, 
as a parent, you just kind of like, sometimes you just like rock <laughs> Sometimes, nowhere. Sometimes at church, I hold Jared, I'm like, shh, because he'll be holding Tommy in church, and he's like rocking like crazy, I'm like, everyone gets rocking. Hey, I rock and I roll, okay? Bada bing, bada boom, look at us, we are in California! We made Hi. it! And little Tommy, tell us, how did Woo. you do? How'd you do on the flight? Oh, that felt so good. That he so did good. so stinking good. Poor kid is tired though. Yeah, he's ready for a nap. He was laughing when I was doing this. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're here in California for a convention called Vid Summit, where we learn all about um, creating content online, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all of the above. And I'm especially looking forward to the podcast section. There's a lot of podcast speakers this weekend, and I can't wait to gather the information and consume it in my, my mouth and put it into my brain. Because when you gather knowledge, it goes into the mouth, into the brain. If you didn't know that, that's how it is. But um, now... And we would love to share some stuff with you guys as we discover stuff ourselves. Exactly. Here's the thing, though. My belly needs to consume some things. So let's consume things, food, with our mouth and into our belly because we've been traveling. Yeah, is that how it works? So here at Vid Summit, we're gonna meet some really, really cool people, and Ben being one of them. Uh, if you guys don't remember, CES in January, yep. we uh, we hung out and we drove a Tesla Model 3. Whoa! <laughs> ben has a couple Tesla cars, and so every time I've been asking questions, I've been asking <laughs> Ben and Dan, who have had Teslas for such a long time. But we just filmed a video together all about going over uh, the new software update that totally changed the way that Teslas are now. Uh, if you wanna watch that, I'll have a link to his video in the description down below. Uh, but for now, we need to go meet Ellie. Yeah, I want to introduce you to my wife. Yes, okay? I wanna meet her. Now you have oh, one, one boy, someone. right? <laughs> Yeah, one, one boy. Yeah, one boy. And what's his name? Jack. Jack. We have a Jackson. Yeah. And you have a Jack. It's yeah. Good Good name. Good name. Whoa. So what do you say we go down to the party? Um, There's a party tonight. What? Sound good? <laughs> this is my kind of party. Yeah. <laughs> Hanging out in the yeah. bedroom. I like this kind of party. I like it too. It's a good party. Tesla has a referral program. I have a referral code and there's some referral bonuses. So if you guys get a Tesla and use my referral code, there's some bonuses that you get with that. At one point in time, there was a referral code where you could get a discount off of their new Roadster that comes out in 2020. Ben had enough referrals to get two That's Roadsters crazy. for free. L let me pull it up for you. Yeah. I'm not quite sure how many I have right now. But yeah, it is pretty wild. Um, it still doesn't feel real. Yeah. It didn't feel at all real when I got the first one. Yeah. And then we went to the semi truck unveiling and I got to ride in it. Yeah. Then it felt very real. <laughs> and, and actually my code stopped working after the first one. Uh -huh. And and then they asked me, or um, I started giving out other people's codes. Right. Uh, and they and then um, what well, theirs stopped working. I emailed Tesla, was like, hey, my friend's code stopped working. I've been giving it out. I said, don't do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're going to reactivate your code. And I said, okay, well, why? I've got all the things. And they said, now you're working on your second Roadster. Boom! Yeah, and I was like, uh, <laughs> all right, let's do that. Super duper. <laughs> aside from the cool factor of, well, this is cool too, but aside from like, yeah, the Tesla's so fast and everything, Tesla cars are very environmentally friendly. And with, with all of the referrals, that you have done. People have bought cars with basically your name attached to it. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? That means that we have almost saved 1 million pounds of CO2 from entering the atmosphere, which above uh, viewers or subscribers or any of the other things on YouTube or whatever, that means far more to me than anything else. So. Pretty dang cool to have your name attached to that. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What referral code did you use? Dan? <laughs> I'm not sure I'm allowed to say that in this. Well, I want to know. Who did you use? I don't even know. I haven't kept up with the Tesla stuff at all. Well, I promised we did go downstairs and go to the party, but it is 8 o'clock. and It's only 8 It's only 8 o'clock. We're done for the night. Um, Tom, Tom, I'm going to put you to bed, my sweet angel. And we don't have the kids with us, most of them. So what is Jared and I going to watch or do? 
We are gonna watch the documentary of Won't You Be My Neighbor <laughs> from Mr. Rogers, and I've heard it's um, very touching and it gives a wonderful insight on kids and their emotions, so I've heard. So we're gonna watch that. Are you ready to cry? Like, you're probably gonna the cry. The thing is, is it, it'll be, I, I love watching stuff like that and giving you better insight, especially yeah. on kids. Um, it's funny, I was talking to someone today, they're like, how's nursing been going? And I'm like, it's been good. And I used this weird analogy. I was like, instead of like looking at my baby as a timer and oh, I need to feed him, I need to feed him. I treat him like a human and just feed him when he needs to feed. Yeah. And it was interesting saying that out loud. Uh -huh. And it, that's how I've always tried to parent is like, the they're not just kids, they're not just babies. They're It's a human and they have emotions and I try and and it's different with every baby. I try and take care of them with that mindset, like knowing that they're emotion they have emotions just like we do. You know, yeah. of course they do, but I'm probably rambling, but I know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I love them and we're going to go watch this documentary. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay? Good night, Tom Tom. <laughs> if Calvin was here, he'd say, "Good night."